Well, next, health officials in Dumfries and Galloway have started a new program to help the rising numbers of people living with type 2 diabetes. The year-long course hopes to transition some of the 10,000 people in the region who are living with the condition into remission. James Mahon has this report. Lockerbie man Bill Sanger never considered himself to be type 2 diabetic. He was fit, healthy and not overweight. I was very thirsty, I was going to the toilet a lot, um, I, was, I was very lethargic. I didn't really put it down to diabetes, if I'm honest. I mean, I put it at that, then, at that time I was working, I was working quite a few hours and I was thinking, well, that's what it was. Routine blood tests with his GP changed his life in 2013. Since then, Bill has altered his diet and lifestyle to avoid medication or insulin injections. He attended a Desmond course, free to anyone in the UK if they're referred to by their GP. They help people with the prevention and control of type 2 diabetes. Now, I went on Desmond course nine years ago, ten years ago. And I'm still in communication now with the dietitian that took that course. And over COVID, she's been talking to me every four months and I'm still controlling it, as you can see. This week, Dumfries and Galloway NHS launched a 12-month support programme to help people living with type 2 diabetes. We'll have an hour to an hour and a half on each session. Um, and the programme will enable them to lose uh, 15 kilos uh, over three month period which will hopefully reduce their uh, HbA1c to enable them to go into remission will then support them to reintroduce food into their diet. It is estimated that there are now more than 300,000 people in Scotland who are diabetic with the majority of those having type 2. Experts are concerned that undiagnosed diabetics have not come forward due to reductions in face-to-face -face GP support during COVID and are still at risk. The problem is that when people see the name diabetes, they think immediately about injections and insulin and, and things that you know they don't want to do and therefore that puts them off getting in touch with their GPs, etc. So, so I think the key message is pick it up early. Health officials are hoping their work during Diabetes Awareness Month will help the thousands of people living with the condition in Dumfries and Galloway. In Dumfries, James Mahan, ITV News.